What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. My name is Ian. I'm trying to create a co-create utopia so we can create a better tomorrow. In this video, I'm going to talk about how uh, the near future is not too bright for any brick and mortar um, store and just economics in general, just not looking too bright as well as a few skills that everyone should really focus on so they're not affected by this regression. So if you are not familiar with the term Amazon effect, you live in a box. You have never left your closet and you have never reached communication with anybody of the century because Amazon is taking over. And when I talk about taking over, Literally hundreds of thousands of stores are going out of business because they cannot compete with Amazon. So this idea of online marketing and online selling and business is where a lot of businesses are, are trying to compete with Amazon on. So if you haven't heard that like Macy and JC Penney's are closing down a ton of stores, they're trying to shift their selling to online but it's not working out the way they want it to so a lot of businesses are suffering and a lot of businesses within businesses for example malls are suffering because of this too and down the line I see grocery stores uh, limitly limiting on the number of jobs because um, Amazon is going to be able to have the uh, the the um, cart that checks out everything is just linked up to your Amazon account. Just all this new technology is just taking over and jobs are not being able to satisfy those. So this near future regression is going to really be uh, created by this term Amazon effect because we're, we're all shifting online. We're all shifting um, to online businesses and online stores. So that's where I wanted to give you a few tips of skills that you should build so you can um, create some passive income. So if you have a job already that pays um, your monthly uh, debts and you're above the water you could say you're going to have to create another source of in income because in the near future it's not looking pretty. So a few skills that you need to do is you need to start marketing yourself and enterprising something uh, that you have a niche for. Um, it could be yourself talking about certain things. It also could be a product that you're willing to sell because you're really um, really done the research behind it and you're really enthusiastic about it. So what these skills entitle is you need to be able to um, create an online business you could say. And I'm trying to do this at the same time. I'm trying to uh, do a show, uh, network marketing business as well as online business right now. Uh, just playing with my options and I'd like to satisfy both of them and eventually lead down other sources of passive income but skills that you need to really uh, learn are just how to get traffic to a certain site a certain product a certain just channel or whatever but you're able to connect with thousands of people and you're able to uh, get their attention and traffic them places the second is to have conversions and having those people click on your uh, traffic uh, source or site so they can eventually um, purchase something and the, the last one is to actually have a product to sell so you're gonna have to start learning to basically sell and your best bet is to sell from Amazon so you create that uh, that passive income that um, is literally supplying yourself with um, the needs that you you want. Uh, 
if you're not familiar with this, I would look up FBA. I'm still working on it myself, but it's really important to uh, just think outside the box and see where you can create a market in. And first of all, you need to become aware of who you are and find your niche. You need to find something that you see potential in and something that you can vouch for, something that um, will that will other people will purchase. So start thinking out the side of the box, guys. I really encourage you to um, reprogram the matrix. Uh, stop listening to what everybody else has to say. Don't let someone tell you to take out a $50,000 loan to get a degree so you can pay off the loan. That doesn't make sense. And if you're logical, you, you would not waste your money. So I hope you guys like this video. Uh, please comment. You can uh, go ahead and hit that like button. This is the fifth day of my 50 day core cool run. So um, I'm on a good start and I can't wait to continue this awesome journey. So hope you guys have a great day and I'll catch you later. Namaste. <laughs>